This one is from Cliptic. Cliptic writes, is it worth paying an extra $500 to get a Triton trailer with torsion suspension instead of leaf spring? Highway driving mostly. I am a firm believer in torsion bar suspension over leaf spring. I am a big, big supporter of torsion bar suspension over leaf spring. And I'll tell you why. Torsion bar suspension does not have wrap. All right. W-R-A-P. Okay. Wrap is a... that it, A lot of guys in drag racing who used old leaf spring cars would find leaf springs would bind and they would they would pinch and they would spring out. They would do this when traction was, you know, when when you were doing a burnout or the tires were starting to hook, the leaf spring would go whoop and it would it would bind up, it would lift up the back of the car and then it would spring. Okay? And that's and then you call it, and that would give you wheel hop. All right? Obviously your jet ski trailer is not going to do a burnout. <laughs> you're not going to have you're not going to have axle wrap you're not going to bind that up and have wheel hop, but you will from, from a launch, from a, you know, from, you know, leaving the drag strip. Okay. So you're going, Oh, this has nothing to do with Jesse trailers. It does because leaf spring. And that's why the majority of modern trucks have finally migrated away from leaf spring suspensions is that leaf springs. When it, when they extend, and when they lay out, or when they lay out flat, and when they extend, what's happening is you're getting this harmonic. All right. Have you ever been driving a leaf spring? Have you ever been driving and have a leaf spring trailer behind you, and that trailer is just bouncing? Your truck's not bouncing, but the act, but your your jet ski trailer is just going nuts, and you're like, what the hell? All right. It happens all the time and when you're down in uh, going across all the bayous. You're going across, you know, the panhandle of Florida. You go across Mobile. You, you know, you're going into Louisiana because what's happened is that they make those bridges, or you know, those low bridges over the water. They make them in sections. And even though they could be flat, and they could be as flat as an ironing board, what's happening, though, is that you're getting a harmonic because you're driving over the sections. And when you get that harmonic, the leaf spring will bind and extend, bind and extend. You have energy is being, the energy is moving through that leaf spring. And so when that energy releases, the ski bucks up or the trailer bucks up. And then you hit another one of those dips and it binds again and then it bounces up. And so it never gets a chance to equalize and so the whole time the trailer is bouncing your brains out going down going down the road. So why I personally am a big believer in torsion bar is because torsion bar is separate. It equalizes better and you don't get wrap, all right? A torsion bar is tensile steel. All right, it's tempered tensioned steel. And it's not going to wrap like you would get in a leaf on leaf springs. All right, that is really why, and th and that's why it's more expensive because it's a superior riding suspension. I hope that answers your question, Cliptic. Thank you very much for the super chat. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.